Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, welcome to the new year. How are you doing, John? Uh, good, Art. Um, I'm not sure I'm in the new year yet. Really? Uh, what, I, makes you, what, make, what makes you say that? You think you're still 1999? <laughs> Got to move on. <laughs> It's not that bad. No, I'm right, still writing 2020 on my checks. Oh, well, write me it a check for a... write me a check for 2020 and zero zero, <laughs> okay, and I'll accept it. Sure, sure. But it takes listen. It takes people a little bit of time to adapt to the new year. Mm -hmm. I think this year we're going to adapt to 2021 much faster than in past years we have adapted to the new year because we're also glad to see 2020 go by. Well, we're, we're certainly glad of, of uh, looking, forward to, looking forward to 2021 and what it has to bring. But you know, it really, let's get a little philosophical here because I know you like to do that. And, I uh, do, I, I, I that. I try to restrain you, but I, I consider every day to be the beginning of a, a new year. So birthdays are really not that important to me. Yeah, they're kind of fun for the kids and things like that. But we we start anew every day. And um, I'm taking from uh, a, a TV uh, piece that I saw the other day, and I'm renaming every day Blur's Day so, <laughs> so that we don't get confused with anything. But, uh, I, I will, uh, but, but getting back on track, and I know this is hard, I, in fact did write my first check of the year, and I did write 2021, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I failed already, no. so I don't know. <laughs> You'll find out when it bounces. Right. You know. <laughs> and by the way, I've had that happen. <clears throat> they say the check's a year old. <laughs> okay. That happened to me once. Anyway. So, well, well listen, it, 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 here's, here's how we know that it really is the new year. The 12 days of Christmas ended yesterday. On January 6th. Really? They did. So today's the 13th day of Christmas, if you want to look at it that way. Wait, wait, that, no wait, wait a minute. The song on uh, 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 the 12 days of Christmas by True Love paid for. So, like, is that like a, a thing against Hanukkah? Is like a competition for Hanukkah? You gotta I, think have... it's the, I think it's the Christian way of competing with Hanukkah. You're wow. right. If we can have eight days, we can have 12 days. Boy, I'll tell you. Okay. Well, uh, whatever. We don't okay. even light candles. Amazon, well, Amazon must love you. <laughs> I don't know anybody who celebrates Wait, the so, so On a serious note, so the 12 days of Christmas, what's the first day of Christmas, the 25th? Christmas Day, yeah, 25th. Ah, so 12 days. So, so, so today's the, so the 13th day of Christmas, yes, or the 12th? What's today? Today is the 13th day of Christmas. Yeah. Yesterday is the end of the 12 days of Christmas. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. The, the story is Christ was born on the 25th. At least that's the day we celebrate sure. it. And 12 days later, who should arrive but the wise men, the Magi, mm. bearing gifts. So that's the 12 days of Christmas. And in, at least in theory, that's where the tradition of gift giving comes from. 12 days, Magi, gifts, frankincense, myrrh, all that kind of stuff. So that's the 12 days of Christmas. In fact, the 12 days of Christmas is not really a universal Christian celebration. I mean, it's, it's relatively modern. In fact, I heard recently, this is a little late because we're blogging in January instead of December. I heard that Christmas trees and taking Christmas as a holiday is only a couple of hundred years old at best. Oh, I thought it was purely Hallmark. I thought it, it was a Hallmark it, holiday. It might be, yeah. yeah. After all, they've invented all the other holidays. Why not Christmas? So let me ask you this question, Father John. Uh, <laughs> yes, my son. I, 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 can't, can't say it. Go ahead, my son. No, thank you. Uh, so what? what is special? So the, today's the, 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 th the three magi are that was yesterday. Like, like get together? That was yesterday, yeah. Yesterday. And what, so what's happening today? Is today just the day after? Nothing. Today, just, yeah, today's the day we say, oh, you give back another year. I got to deal with this again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wow. So let's look so it really, My point is that it really is a new year. All right? There's no going back. Christmas is over. 
put it behind you, get over it. I don't know what the next holiday so the, is. The, the, the holiday? 12 days with the turtle doves and the, the maids of milk and, and all that. And the dancing, milking maids and whatever it is. That's over. So, yeah. but we do have some stuff, at least a, a bunch of special. We've already actually done tapings this year. We uh, are so far into 2021, people won't believe it. And, and uh, you know what? I'm just thinking... Ooh, I'm I thinking, like this. I'm thinking, John, yeah. we have something yeah. special coming up this year uh, oh. that's even bolder and 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 more exciting. Uh, something, if, something to tax the mind. Yeah. Do you something to help us get happy. Is, do you remember any of that? Wait, let me whisper. The, oh, the, the brain, brain whisperer. whisperer. Yeah. The brain whisperer, Stephen Campbell, of yeah. course. He starts yeah, so here's the deal, folks. Uh, we met, we were introduced to Stephen Campbell. We did an interview with him, what, three months ago, something like that. Right. What a great, uh, great, great interview. Guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got to watch it. Uh, and he is now listed on our website under our uh, contributors website. Mm -hmm. So you can see that interview there. But what we did is we asked Stephen to teach us his methodology for training our brain to what to give us positive and energy and think think so we can yeah i, I think the, the big takeaway is going to be and this is going to be a four-part uh a series uh, uh it's basically a, a course that uh, he's been teaching uh, for years yeah. but um uh, the basic thing is that um uh, rather than just say this is what i want to do or this is what i want to accomplish it basically, uh, his theory is that the mind believes anything we tell it. So if we right. tell it good, good or bad, good or bad, and yeah. and there are ways of of uh, fr uh, framing it so that uh, it will filter out other things that other people say or other people's attitudes and let us build the attitudes that we want to accomplish. And uh, it's really uh, fascinating. I was fascinated while uh, we were uh, taping them. And I've uh, uh, since read most of his book uh, again. We did it for the first show uh, and again. And uh, it all makes a lot of sense. I really enjoyed it and have implemented some of those things in my life. You said it so well. I wish I could have said that instead of whatever I was bumbling on about. <laughs> but yes, anyway, Stephen Campbell, Stephen R. Campbell to his friends. Uh, Steve Campbell is really fascinating and uh, great great teacher. Uh, and there's a lot to learn about taming your mind, how to control your mind to get the things you want. Mm -hmm. So four part, starting on January 21st, was that two weeks from today? Two weeks, two weeks from today, yeah. And uh, so every Thursday for four weeks, we'll present his four basic foundational videos where he teaches us the principles how our brain works, why we, we need to train it, and how to train it, and how to get what we want out of life uh, by thinking differently. So it'll be really, really good stuff. Excellent. That's, that's a great start for the new year, don't you think? I, I absolutely think uh, that uh, having some tools to make uh, every day the beginning of a new part of uh, our reinvention, our yeah. Act 2, because there were... There's no reason why we can't continue to have a, an act two if we're not happy with or we're finished doing certain things in our life. There's no reason change why it. we can't change and do uh, additional things and yep. uh, get a lot of uh, joy and uh, accomplishment out of that. Yep, and grow. Mm -hmm. Grow and prosper in the new year, no matter what your age. Yeah. Yeah, good. Well, I think that's, well, uh, that, that's something we can leave uh, that as a, a, a thought for people to uh, mull over in their minds while getting ready for uh, the brain I'm, whisperer, Steve Campbell. I'm going to go mull. I think, I, I think it's time for me to go mull. Right. My I, idea. I think it's a good idea. Hey, listen, everybody. We will see you uh, every Thursday for our Founders Vlog, sharing great deep thoughts just like this. Uh, but in the meantime, we want you to go to uh, our YouTube channel uh, and please subscribe. We've got uh, six experts 
constantly giving great advice on various subjects, and uh, Stephen Campbell will be among them. And we've got a lot of videos of uh, inspirational people, fascinating life stories. I think there's useful stuff for you there. I stuff. have one question that uh, perhaps you can help me uh, offline with, John. Today's the 13th day of Christmas. Is next, <laughs> okay. next Thursday the 20th day of Christmas? Should I? <laughs> and then the 27th? Why? Only, Why? For the, only for those people that just can't let go of Christmas. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. So in other words, if you have a, actually, if you have a, a, a Christmas like tree planted in your front yard, you can continue this year long. Well, this is, this is that kind of uh, timing, if you will, that kind of figuring would be good for those people that never take their Christmas lights down off their house. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. in June, you, in June, you could say, uh, you still got your Christmas lights up and they'll say, yes, this is the 188th day of Christmas. Ah, one of my favorite days to celebrate. <laughs> and as I as I go out and, and look for, for for gifts for for people for the hundred eightieth day, uh, I, we should wish everybody a good week. Yes, a good week and a good month and a great twenty twenty one. Ah, good. So happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.